Welcome to a Tuesday football Q&A with Matt Stankavich for Temple Week. Well, Matt, just tell me a little bit about how the team has responded to the victory. Obviously, Coach O'Brien talked about how you come to work every day, no matter what, win or lose. So how's the team responded this week? Well, it's definitely some weight lifted off our shoulders, but uh, we're not satisfied. You know, Coach O'Brien always stresses that, you know, each week we have to go in there with the mentality that we want to win the football game. And, you know, of course, it's some weight lifted off our shoulders, but we're not at rest or we're not at ease. You know, we're, we're still back at the grindstone and we're, uh, we're practicing hard. Talk a little bit about Temple and what you've seen on film from their defense. You know, well, of course, going by last year, uh, last year's film, and uh, this past year with with some of their players. You know, some of the guys are returning up front. You know, some guys I played against already, and uh, they're, they're an aggressive team. You know, they're they're always have some size. They always have, you know, uh, quick players. They always have strong players, and, and they move a lot. So it's a team that we have to practice and get ready for. Matt, give me an idea of, of your evaluation of the offensive line so far this year. You've only given up three sacks. How do you feel like the group has played? I think we played well. We have to get better, though, and we're not there yet. And I think everyone on the offensive line will say that. But I like the where our attitude is. You know, I want people with the same attitude that you know we're we're going to attack you. You know, we're going to be the hammer. We're not going to be the nail. So, you know, I, I want to get that attitude across. You know, as uh, Mike Farrell and I want to say that to our offensive line, and we say that in meetings, we do that in practice, and uh, we want to perform that in the game. What type of areas do you feel like you you want to improve in most as a unit? Uh, as an offensive line, uh, I, I think everything, you know, we have to, you know, when players come in and out, we can't, uh, we can't, you know, take a step back. You know, we, we have to take a step forward because that's a fresh body. You know, we have to take advantage of that. We, we can't, uh, you know, of course, when uh, during the game, we, we can't have relapses. We, we, we want to strive for no sacks. We can't give up sacks. So there's always things in the offensive line that we want to strive for and get better as. And those are just a couple. You meet with Coach McCorder quite often in the film room. What's he like in there? Uh, well, you know, he uses a lot of humor, but he's serious at the same time, you know, so uh, he's a great coach. You know, we, we love having him. He uh, definitely brings uh, a great personality to our offensive line and a mentality that, uh, you know, we, we get we want to get after him. And and uh, he, he has that family atmosphere also. So he's a great coach to have. And I'm, I'm glad he's on board. Your senior third home game of the season this Saturday. What's it been like so far this year from all the support from the fans? Uh, well, support's been fantastic. You know, I can't believe it's already our fourth game this week coming up. You know, it's uh, it's season's going by super fast, and uh, support, you know, makes it enjoyable. It makes it very enjoyable to go out there knowing that you have all those fans there supporting you. Have those fans on the road games and uh, on on the way games and stuff. So it's been a fantastic experience, and I, I love going through it. Thanks for your time, Matt. Best of luck this week. Thank you, Tony.